Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with thecowwhisperscreativecards.com. Thanks for joining me for Craft Until the Cows Come Home, which I try to do every Tuesday night. Had a little emergency last week, so uh, was not on last Tuesday. Thank you guys for understanding. Give me one second here. I'm going to go ahead and get logged on so I can see all the comments. Because we know there is del a delay. Hi, everyone that's jumping on. Oh, people are already sharing. Thank you so much. Mm. Kisses, hugs, hugs, kisses. I don't have my face on tonight. I figured you guys have seen me in Elmer out there working cows, and you would understand that I'm a little busy. So that's why I was like, you know what? This girl doesn't have time to slap makeup on. We're making some cards. We're going to do something awesome tonight. So, I want to say hi to everybody, and before I get started, I want to, I'm not going to get emotional, <laughs> I want to tell you guys how much you've touched my heart with all your prayers. Oh, I am going to get emotional. Oh, um, yeah, um, my husband's situation just kind of blindsided us, and uh we are recovering from the surgery, and we are going to meet with the oncologist on February the 6th. So, at that point in time, we will know exactly what the prognosis is and exactly what the treatment will be. So, right now, we're just recovering from his major surgery, and we will go from there. So, the moral of the story is... If you have pain somewhere and something doesn't feel right, it doesn't matter how many times you go to the doctor and what they give you. If you know your body, something's not right, don't stop. Keep going. It took a trip to the ER where they actually did a CAT scan to find the big mass. So, yeah. Learn. Learn from that situation. But I've got great stamping up news to talk to you about tonight. So, before I move on, I can't tell you guys how much you've touched my heart. I have received so many cards, and you know what? It's a smile in the mail every time I open one up, and it it's, it's touched me, and it's touched my husband, and for that, I thank you, and I thank you for the prayers, and please keep them coming because we need them, okay? All right, now let's get to some stamping fun. Don't forget... You can join my team. My business has not stopped, will not stop. It's going to continue to go just like it's been going. You can get $175 worth of product right now with a free paper pumpkin. It's a past paper pumpkin kit. It's valued at $20. So really, it's $195 worth of product. It only spend $99. And the shipping is free. If you love this bag, if you want this tote, it's a canvas tote. This is exclusive tote, only for new demonstrators joining right now. The tote is valued at $50. If you want the tote in your starter kit when you join, you pay $129. So you're getting a discount on the tote of $20 also. You're still, so it's $99 without the tote, $129 with the tote. You pick the $175 worth of product, and you get the paper pumpkin. And if you need help picking the product, I can help you. And there's something else I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about tonight, too. A couple of things, and I wrote them down because I'm a little frazzled, so hang in there with me. Um, I've tried to keep up and post everything on my Facebook page to let you guys know that the cake punch, it's non-orderable. And that, so that means the uh, piece of cake bundle is non-orderable. Orderable. The uh, butterfly gala bundle is non-orderable. And the butterfly duet punch is non-orderable. Okay, those will come back when they get them in. It could be April, okay? So they just were flying out the door. So that's why they're gone. The organdy ribbon. Oh, I've had so much fun playing with the ribbon. Oh, it makes me so sad. It's gone. Out of here. Went like hotcakes, okay? But for everyone who places an order with me, I'm going to 
send you a couple of pieces of what I have left on my spools here until they're gone, okay? So if you place an order with me in your thank you card for me, you'll find some of this gorgeous organdy ribbon. Mm, I love it. And you're going to see it on cards, just to let you guys know. You're going to see it on uh, some of my posts coming up because I schedule way out in advance. And like right now, I'm trying to finish through the end of February. So just be aware if you see that, just if you don't have it, you can substitute something else. And uh, if you do have it, yay you, you're lucky. All right. Also, the circle punch, the hand circle punch, one eighth inch circle punch. If you want that, Stampin' Up! carries it right now. The manufacturer is no longer going to be able to make that. So those are available while supplies last and they are in low inventory. So keep that in mind. Two celebration items that are in extremely low inventory and when they're gone they are gone because they've also gone like hot potatoes that's the grapefruit grove lovely lipstick foil if you want that as your celebration item for a fifty dollar purchase you need to get it because it's going to be gone anytime the other item is the precious parcel card kit you know, I made those. They look like little mailboxes. Oh, yeah. Adorable. Well, I'm not surprised. Both of those will be probably gone very, very, very quickly. We got noticed that they are super, super low, and when they're gone, they're gone. Okay. Hello, everyone that's jumping on. Thanks for jumping on and joining me. Now, I have one more thing to tell you, and then we're going to get started with our card tonight which I'm so excited because I actually designed this card for last week so I had it ready to go for tonight so we're gonna play with it tonight yes get them before they're sold out and the ones of you that have already got them yay for you okay I'm gonna flip you down and around and show you um, something real quick in the celebration catalog that you may not be aware of that I have not talked about before and um, I got some splaining to do, Lucy. Some splaining to do. And if you don't know where that reference comes from, then you're not old enough to have watched I Love Lucy. And those of you that were, that are old enough to know, know exactly what I'm talking about. So hang on. You're not going to touch some buttons. Let's see. Touch some buttons. They've changed things. No, not that one. Why do they keep changing it? There we go. Okay, hang with me. And you know it takes it a second to adjust. So let me get my notes out of the way. I did good. I did good with my notes. Let me pull this over here so I can see what I'm doing. Pull you up and over. Hang with me. Hey, check me out. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think we'll go with that. I think we will. Oh, you guys are all so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. In your, celebra in your celebration brochure, I want to explain this real quick. It's on page three. If you have not made your purchase yet, You've been saving your pennies and your dimes and your nickels. I want to show you how you can get the biggest bang for your buck. On page three, it's going to show you here. It says party sales. You can just, what that means is people have parties at home, but it can just be a one-person order as well, okay? So here's what you need to understand. If you purchase $150 worth of items, you're going to earn 10% in Stampin' Rewards. That means you're going to get $15 right there on that order that you need to spend, and it's free product, okay? With celebration going on right now, if you spend $250, then, and I've got a little note here, that you're going to earn $25, because at 10%, that's $25, but there's a bonus, Stamping Up is going to give you an additional $25 in Stampin' Rewards. So, what does that mean? That means if you spend $150, you're going to get $15, and you're going to get up to three $50 celebration items. 
okay? Because we know we're just going to go with the $50 ones. It's easier to explain because there's a couple items that are a $100 purchase, but let's just go with the $50 purchase. Now, if you spend $250, you're going to get $25 for your stamp and rewards, an additional $25, so $50 worth of anything that you want to pick. Anything that you want to pick out of the occasions or the annual catalog or the clearance rack. $50 worth. And you're going to get five celebration items. Okay? Now, let's say you spend $300. Well, at $300, it changes the percentage of stamp and rewards that you receive to 12%. So what does that mean? That means now for $300, and this is all before tax and shipping, you're going to receive $36 in stamp and rewards plus the 25. So you're getting $61 worth of free product of your choice from the occasions, annual, or clearance catalogs, okay? Clearance rack or the other catalogs. And then you're going to receive six celebration items at the $50 mark, okay? So, I just want you to understand that's the difference here. $250 and up, you receive an extra $25 on top of what you earned for the amount that your order was. Now, please tell me with some thumbs up and some hearts that that was as clear as I could make it. Because you know what? I want you guys to get all this free stuff. Thumbs up, hearts, let me know, let me know. And then we're going to talk about tonight's card. Yay, I see him. Check it out. Can you see this? This little beauty. This is vellum, and it looks like lace. And if you guys took advantage of my paper share, you got some of that pretty stuff, and I'm going to show you how I played with it. Clear as a mountain stream. I like it. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. Oh, I love all the hearts and thumbs up. Yay, I love it. Okay, on page 11 of the Occasions Catalog, you are going to see the Floral Romance Specialty Designer Series paper. In there, you're getting six pieces of vellum. You're getting three that looks like the lace, and these are 12 by 12, okay, and three that are the floral. Yeah, they're gorgeous, okay? Now, as soon as I get off here, I'll go on, and I've got it all ready to add all of the uh, links at the top in the description of this video, okay? So, yes, isn't it beautiful? Beautiful! Okay, well, we're going to use the other piece of vellum tonight, and I'm so excited. We're using the Strong and Beautiful Stamp. This one says, I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you on the outside. And on the inside, it says, thank you for always being there for me. Now, when you see this stamp set, you may think just Mother's Day because it's got some fabulous Mother's Day sentiments on it. But trust me, it can be used for so many other things, and that's what I wanted to show you tonight. Now, in conjunction with the Strong and Beautiful, we're going to be using the stitched label framelits, and I'm going to be using this beautiful die right here. That's where I got this. Okay, stitched label framelits. And then I'm going to be using the Springtime Impressions Thinlets. This big die right here. Okay, so if you guys are ready, and I'll have all these... All these items will be linked, alrighty? And I'm also going to be using the Blossom Builder Punch, but I'll show you that as we go. Now, I'm going to change it up just a smidge. Just a smidge. So, let's have some fun. Hi, everybody that's jumping on. Okay. Now, my card stock is... Um, this is... What is this? Petal Pink. Petal Pink. I had to think for a minute. And it's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. And I went ahead and stamped on my Whisper White. And this is your amazing and that's a fact. So I'm going to set that aside for now. Oh, I love all the hearts. Your Oh, you guys are that are out there freezing your little fan dandies off. I feel for you. I feel for you. Okay, so that's 11 by four and a quarter, scored at five and a half. Now, I got... 
Here's the other piece of vellum. Isn't it gorgeous? Because, mm, of course, I'm using um, the Blackberry Bliss. I love purple. So here's what I did. Just so you guys know the measurements. This is Mossy Meadow. Okay. Five and a quarter by four. It's going to go just like that. My vellum is cut the same size as my piece of Whisper White. Because I want that. See how it kind of just fades away? I want it to pop. I want. Oh. <laughs> see what I mean? I want it to pop and be gorgeous. So both of these are cut at three and three quarter by five. All right. Very important. So, let's go ahead. It is beautiful. I agree. I'm going to go ahead and set these aside for just a second. And I'm going to bring in a piece of Blackberry Bliss. Okay. Now, I will tell you, this is an oversized piece. But you want it to be a, a larger piece. Because look how large this die is. So, this piece here is five and a half by four and a half. And it's an intricate, intricate die. So I'm going to go ahead and run this through my big shot real quick. Well, let me do that. You guys chat amongst yourself. It does pop. I know. It's awesome. Now, because this is an intricate die, I'm going to run it through and back through. And, you know, I love my Big Shot or uh, my uh, magnetic platform. That's that's my platform of choice. Now, I've got my sponge and I've got my cut pretty good, huh? Looky there. Just a few pieces. Trying to hold. That's what I'm talking about. So, let me slide it off here. Let me clean off my plate because I gotta use it again. And what I, I just keep this in this is just a stamp case in case you guys are wondering. Hello, Ohio. And then you just take your brush and just go across. Pretty see it's pretty simple, easy peasy. Look at that. How simple was that? Yep, I'm love. You know me, I'm all about simple. Easy is good. So now I just care I just take my little sponge right over here to my trash can, dump it right in there. Now I've got a piece of whisper white. So I need to bring in Hello, I'm loving the thumbs up. Thanks for sharing. Bring me my Blackberry Bliss. All right. And I chose the sentiment. You have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more and I couldn't be more proud. You have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. Okay. So let's get that good and inked up. And I want to put it somewhat in the middle because even if it's a little crooked, I can cant my, my die. Because remember, we're using the stitched labels framelit, all right? And that's it. We're using this one. So I can kind of get this, and I've got... See here, I've got a flower that I've cut over out of my leftover piece. So I want to do that same thing. So let's just bring this over here to the side. So I'm, so I'm bringing in my scotch removable tape. I'm going to tape that down because I don't want it running off on me. Thanks for sharing. So let me run this through my big shot. I know some of you guys are freezing your fan bandies off out there. It's cold here, but nothing, nothing like some of the places. All righty. See how that just peels right off? 
Now I need to clean that real quick. Just a few pieces left. It's got stitching on this die and where it cuts out where it's intricate. If you see that, let me clean my die off. Good to go. Oops, I see one more. Perfect. All right. So I can put that aside. All right. Now, getting everything ready for when we put this all together, and you guys will see what I'm going to do. Oh, the removable tape. I'm telling you, it is the bomb ditty. Bomb ditty. Okay, we're going to bring in some mossy meadow. Okay. And my dauber. And I'm just hitting the edges. I want it to pop off the back of this um, vellum and the uh, Blackberry Bliss. I wanted it to be some definition there. I got to tell you guys, I love the Mossy Meadow. And hopefully you saw that you can now get the Mossy Meadow in the Stampin' Blends. Yeah. All right. So I think we're done with that. So now we've got that done. Here we go. I have not one, but two of my silicone mats. All right. And I have two because I keep one and I use it for my reverse stamping, for what I'm going to do tonight. And then I keep one that I keep in my Stamparatus bag. But tonight, because what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to put a pretty ample amount of my Tombow down, all right? And I have one of our sponges that I've just cut into fourths. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put Tombow on the back of my vellum and stick it to my Whisper White, and you're not going to be able to see it because it dries clear. And this, because this is such a big piece, that's why I'm using two different silicone mats. Yeah, I buy mine off Amazon because you guys know I'm the Amazon queen. So look, I'm just blot, blot, blotting and then just smear it on here. Doesn't need to be thick, just needs to be covered. If I was just working on a small item, then I could do it all on one mat. But you don't have to worry about having any adhesive showing through when you do this. Okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and get busy. Don't want to dilly-dally because it's a you're putting a th fine coat on there. And you want to, and I'm going to get my head over here in this probably. But because it's vellum and because it's such a fine coat, you want to try and get it lined up as straight as you can. If we need to trim it, we will, okay? So don't panic. If you need to trim it, you can. See, because I'm just a tiny bit over here and here. And it's probably not even enough for anybody else to notice. It actually looks pretty good. But I'm going to let that dry for just one sec. Because you know what? You know me. You know that I can't take it. I can't take it. I'd rather trim a smidge of it off than it to be hanging over. Amazon Online Scotch Removable Tape. Now I'm just gonna just it's I'm taking a sliver, you guys, just a sliver. Okay, but I want it to be even all the way around. So don't don't freak out if you need to take just a sliver off. I did that on the other one, too. Just a sliver. But, that way, it's all exactly the same. 
and perfect because you know how I am. I want it to be perfect. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, okay. Thanks, Charlotte. <laughs> okay, now what we want to do, we're going to put this piece that we just put together on top of our mossy meadow. And we might as well go ahead and use our Tombow. We've got it out, and that's going to give us a little bit of time to get it good and straight where we want it. That is the beautiful thing about adhes liquid adhesive. And I love the Tombow because it dries quickly, and it still gives you just a little bit of time to get things where you want them. Because see how that's just a little too far over? That looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna bring back our mat. I don't wanna stick it where I've got adhesive, okay? So I'm gonna be creative here. Bring back our glue. And you're gonna ask me, Michelle, how do you get all that off of this silicone mat? Here's your answer. Hand sanitizer, literally squirt, squirt hand sanitizer on there. I take my fingers, rub, rub, rub. It breaks down the adhesive, and I take a paper towel and wipe it off. It's just that simple. And I probably put way more of that down than I needed. But that's okay. It's all good. I'm just blobbing it. Just blotting it. It's not blobbing. Blotting it. I'm going to get as far as I can get. But you don't want to dilly-dally, remember. Then I'm going to go ahead and bring it over here to this one where I don't have anything because I don't want to get it on the other side if I can help it. And you can use our uh, adhesive sheets on the back of this, but I will tell you when you do that on something this intricate, you got one opportunity to get it stuck down where you want it, where this is going to let me play with it for just a minute. So let's get her down here. And it's really going to come almost all the way down. See how it goes to the top and the bottom? Let's pivot that just a smidge. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my gosh, it's making me squeal. Squeal. Who's squealing with me? Oh, thanks, Liz. Okay, now, I'm feeling pretty confident, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and put this down. And even though we went over just a smidge on our mossy meadow, we're still within the borders of our card, so we're good. Mmm. Butamosis, that's what I say. Butamosis. All right, let me get my... Fast Fuse, and we'll go ahead and put the inside down. Ooh, there's some squealing going on out there. Somebody's going to win this card, by the way, which I forgot to say earlier on. Someone will win the card I am creating tonight. One lucky winner will be chosen on Friday. And I hope everyone has gone on to my blog, www.thecowwhisperscreativecards.com, three W's there, and um, left a comment on the post that says, I'm celebrating... It's got to be, your comment has got to be on that post. It cannot be here. It cannot be on Facebook. And the reason why is my random picker will go on just to that one post and it will pull all the names. So it's kind of technical. Oh, this is making me squeal. Do you guys love it? Love it? I need to grab my twine out of here. Now, here's what I did. I took my Blossom Builder Punch 
Me, I hope. Me, I hope. <laughs> you are cracking me up. Okay, this is the Blossom Builder Punch. This is the largest petal. I'm using the smaller of the two petals, okay? This one over here on the left-hand side. And what I did with this one is I punched one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven petals out of what I had left of my six by six vellum. So we're going to see how this looks tonight. Let's do the same thing. Where this is patterned and that wasn't, but we're going to go with it. We's are going with it, and I'm going to just snip it off as I go so I can continue to stick it in the side there. I'm going to see how it looks. I think it'll be pretty. So if you guys did a share with me, you've got a 6x6. Six six, and then here's my bigger strip. Stick that in there. There's four, five, six. This is by far my favorite piece of the vellum. Seven. All right, let's see what we got. Let's get all the pieces out. We don't need all those extras. Two, four, six, seven. All right, let's get this out of the way. It'll drive me to drink. By the way, I have my root beer here. There is no sound. Is anybody else having problems with sound? Weigh in. Please tell me no one else is having problems with sound. Now, I'm going to... Okay. Mary Jane, it must be on your end. Okay, now I'm just going to start putting my flower together. I'm just going to take a little bit of my Tombow and just going to dab it. You could also use uh, mini glue dots if that tickled your fancy. Okay, everybody else is good. Okay, I was about to freak out there. It was like, oh my gosh, I've been talking to myself. And I'm just stacking these just with putting it right here. You see what I'm doing? Just stacking them. Tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit. Making myself a flower. And this is going to give me enough time if I need to move these petals around a bit, I can. Which is nice. Very, very nice. But I may be holding my mouth right. I may be okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. See how I'm shifting them around just a smidge? Okay, that looks good. Let's put some on the back. A little Tombow on the back. Get that piece out of here now. Oh my gosh, you guys. Is there squealing going on out there? There is squealing going on at the Scott Farm right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. Mm. Okay, now. Now I get to bring in our floral romance seal. You know, like the olden days. Now, I'm not that old. There's some splaining to do, Lucy. Yeah, the days where they had to take a seal and in wax. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to go ahead, even though it's got adhesive on it, I do not want it moving. I'm going to put some of that down, and I'm going to put that right on top of it. Oh, now, you know I'm going to keep it real. When you mail a card like this... You need to put the extra two, you know, the two ounce stamp on there. You want pay the extra twenty something cents and guarantee that it's going to get there and it's not going to be machinable. This is the Blackberry Bliss Twine that comes in the set. So let's just tie this little thingy up here, make us a bow. I don't want it to be too big a bow. Thank you guys so much for sharing. Oh, I love that you love it. And you guys know it never looks as good on here as it does. If you're the lucky winner and you've received the card, you're like, oh my gosh, it's even cuter in person. 
O-M-G. First tails are too long still. Got, got a, a little more. A little more of a haircut. There we go. Bring in a glue dot. You will love it, Charlotte. You remember doing that, Catherine? Catherine, you're telling your age. That is something I will say I have never done. I have never done it. Pick me, you'll meet me at the bridge. She'll meet me at the bridge. Putting this at the top. And there you go. See, you have what it takes to be unstoppable, and I couldn't be more proud. You're amazing. That's a fact. This one, I cherish you, my I cherish you, my true friend. I know I can always count on you. Thank you for always being there for me. Beautiful, beautiful sentiments from Strong and Beautiful, and it's in the Occasions catalog. All right. Oh, yeah, there's some hearts. Uh -huh. oh, well, let's brand these babies. Might as well brand this one, too, while I got it out. I'm going to look for questions. If anyone has any questions while I'm getting my brand out and getting ready. Thank you, Doris. Thank you so much. It would be. This one, you love this one, Ioka? I cherish you, my true friend. You are like a diamond, resilient, strong, and beautiful. I mean, to the woman who does it all with grace and wisdom. This stamp set would be awesome. Awesome to make for cards for your daughters, for and like I said, you could even you know use the sentiments for a masculine card. You don't have to use the ones that say women. Thank you, guy. Thank you, guys, for all the prayers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We need them, need them, need them. All right, so you know we use the strong and beautiful. We use the springtime impressions thinlets. Okay, that's that set. And the stitched label framelits. So, I don't see any question. I am going, oh, you're so sweet, Char. Thank you. Hold on, I'm going to flip you up and around. Michelle doesn't need to be that up close and personal when she does not have her face painted up like it's supposed to be. It's just plum scary. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's card. Can I get it up here to where you can see it? It is beautiful. And when I put the pictures up on the uh, my Facebook page tomorrow, you'll get to see how pretty they really, really are. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I don't have the doily bundle, Nyoka. I swear I bought... I bought everything under the sky... But I did not buy the doily bundle. So, I can't help you with that. I'm sorry. Oh, you guys are sweet. Hey, let me show you something else real quick in case you guys are looking at this. Let me move this real quick. So it doesn't fall over. I want to show you my steal and deal. You guys know that I only keep current Stampin' Up! product. Because if I can't uh, inspire you with it and get you to buy it, then I'm not doing my job. So that's why. I mean, are there other sets that I would love to have? I have the Loyal and True and we'll never get rid of it. But other than that, if it's not a current product, I don't keep it. Okay? So with that being said, I have 100 and almost 150 stamps. I want you to see, I saw on a Facebook page where this woman's husband made this amazing rotating stamp storage and I thought I wonder if I can find something similar it doesn't hold as much as hers hers held 200 something stamps this one holds 144 I think but it holds all of my stamps so look at it 
there's 140 something stamps and before I was having to walk over to my bookcase over here and a lot of them were really low and now I have every single thing right here at my fingertips and you know I love that so bought that on Amazon okay now was it unicorns and rainbows putting it together let me be real no it was not was it impossible? No, but really you need two people to put it together, okay? And $39, yes, you heard me, $39 is what this costs. So if any, and it's sturdy, sturdy, so if anyone's interested, Amazon, $39. And it, uh, you can just put in a CD, rotating CD rack, and you'll see it, $39. So, Yes, it is very cool. And for $39, you can't go wrong, right? Okay, you guys. I'm going to say goodnight. Savannah. Where are you, Savannah? <laughs> She's come home. We're sending you hugs and kisses from Oklahoma. Let's keep the prayers coming. You've touched my heart in ways that I cannot even tell you this week. I thank you so much. My husband thanks you so much. And I will see you next Tuesday night barn any catastrophes when we're crafting till the cows come home. Bye from Oklahoma and the Scott Farm.